For this demonstration, we're going to see how to use what if and confirm parameters to be able to control how commands are executed. Now, this is useful when we're trying to ensure that a command's behavior is functioning as expected, and especially when the command could affect the system state or the configuration. So let's start off here in the console, and I'm going to type stop service name bits what if. And what we see here is the console displays a message and it's telling us what stop service would have done if we'd executed the command. Now I can also use the what if parameter with multiple objects. And we can see this by typing stop service name asterisk what if. So now let's go ahead and open a process. And I'll do that by starting Notepad. So in the console, I'm going to type stop process, name, Notepad, confirm. And right away, we get a warning message. And it asks me if I'm sure I want to perform this action. And this is exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And I'll do that by typing Y. And immediately Notepad closes. Now, as in the case with what if, I can also use confirm with multiple objects. So in the console, I'm going to go ahead and type stop process, name, star, confirm. Now, we can see here that the console displays a warning message. And that warning message asks me if I'm sure I want to perform this action. And for now, I'll just go ahead and answer no to these first two prompts. And you'll see that the warning message just continues to ask me to confirm the operation by stopping each process individually. And at this point, I think I'll just go ahead and halt this operation altogether. And that can be done by typing L. And that simply just means no to all. Now let's talk a little bit about configuring what if and confirm behavior. Each command has an internal setting called its confirm impact which can be set to low, medium, or high. Now, Windows PowerShell uses two built-in preference variables, and the first of which is $ConfirmPreference, and the second one is $WhatIfPreference. And you can use these to control the confirm impact and confirmation behavior of these commands. So what I think I'll do is type in $ConfirmPreference equals low in quotation marks, and it's worth calling out at this point that the default confirm preference is set to high. Now, let's go ahead and type in start service name bits. And right away, hopefully, you can see that the command behavior has been modified and a confirmation message is now displayed automatically. And I'll just go ahead at this point and type no. So at this point, let's shine a little bit more light on how Windows PowerShell confirmation works. Now what it does is it checks a command's internal impact setting. Now if that level is equal or higher than the appropriate preference variable, Windows PowerShell performs the confirmation action automatically. So in this session, what I did is I set the confirmation preference setting to low, and the shell recognized that the impact for the start service command was now higher than the preference. So instead of start service executing, I'm now automatically prompted as to whether or not I want to continue or halt the command execution. Now also, if that command has an internal confirmation impact of high, that command will always auto-confirm. However, you can also override this behavior if you feel that should be required. Now we can go ahead and wrap this up by typing start service, name, B-I-T-S, confirm, colon, dollar sign, false. And notice here that we've now suppressed the previous automatic confirmation. So the final thing I'm going to do here is I'll return the setting to its default value. And I can do that by just typing dollar sign, confirm preference, equal, and I'll put this in quotes, high. So that wraps up this demonstration of using what if and confirm.